one at Sizzle Labs, and this is Stone Blog. Or once half past today, I'm having a pretty amazing one myself. I die in between episodes. I did a fair amount of stuff, so let's kind of go over it. See here, I have some uh, loot chest here. Because, I, well, I did some quests. I went ahead and made this one here. This was a quest, that was a quest, and this was a quest. So, I made the mob grinder. That is just uh, from Draconic Evolution. It kills mobs. It's uh, pretty good, but at the same time, it takes a lot of power. The mob crusher is way better, so... Yeah, I don't even know why it was so far in. Also, the black hole tank and the black hole unit. I went ahead and made these. These things just hold mass amounts of things. So I think if you kind of take that, pop that in there. Um, it doesn't show the number. Pretty sure it holds like 2 billion though. So it's actually massive. I don't know if it tells you there. No, it doesn't. But yeah, it holds like 2 billion items. So pretty massive and kind of it's, you know, amount of items that could hold. I think this is the same with the liquid. So millipocket so. I did throw my pick in here. I need to grab that real quick. Red matter pick. Maybe break this puppy. Get rid of you. I did toss you, and I don't even need that anymore. And yeah, the mob grinder, we don't need that as well. But uh, we did get some loot chests. Let's kind of open those up real quick. Just see if we have one more chance to get a Skullfire Sword, which I I find highly unlikely. Because uh, today's probably going to be the last episode, right? So we're going to kind of go ahead, make all our infinity armor, get all that jazz, and uh, go over the quests that I'm not going to bother doing. Because <laughs> there is quite a few here. So anyway, let's kind of go in the quest book, take a look-see. Um, I went ahead and did this quest too, so I went and did right there. I got this here, the Awakened Core. I didn't even claim that one yet. And I also did the Draconic Armor. So the Draconic Armor, it's really good armor, but the Infinity Armor is going to make us literally invincible. So I didn't really see the point of uh, upgrading it all. Anyway, let's do that. Let's get rid of you. I've already been eating this stuff anyway. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. So the quest I'm not going to do. Let's kind of go over that. I'm not going to be doing the mob souls or the stabilized mob spawner because you have to go around. You got to kill items, uh, kill a whole bunch of mobs. I think it's with the reaving enchantment and then you yeah, occasionally get the mob spawner. I think that's how that works. Or not the mob spawner, the mob soul. So you can combine that with the mob spawner. There's a whole thing. Not going to bother. We are going to do this one because it's going to be kind of done in the process of going through our other quest. Same as the injector and uh, same as the chaotic core. So the last item for the pack is really this, the Tome of Knowledge. Uh, we need a Chaos Shard to do that. I think we need three, actually. If we go to the, I guess here, Tome of Null. Check that out. We need to upgrade uh, two of these injectors up to Chaotic. So I think that's, what, two? Yeah. So we need one for each injector. Then we have to make one more Chaotic Core. So that's a third shard. And that'll make it so, yeah, we'll need uh, three of the Chaos Shards to be able to actually... Make the last item, which is the tome, and it just unlocks your, basically your tablet so you can craft anything. You don't have to teach it anymore. It just learns every kind of recipe in the pack, so that is pretty awesome in itself. So that is the last item, kind of the last goal, goal there. And uh, yeah, I won't be doing this quest line. And the power generation ones, I'm not going to bother either. The solar panel, even the top tier one, like there's actually three, three tiers above this one. I think it's the uh, chaos one, so if we go to solar here, it only produces like 500,000 RF. <laughs> it uh, isn't really worth it. Plus, it takes four of these Draconics, which is a whole thing, and then these Wyverns. This is a whole lot of stuff we don't need for not much power gain. I mean, we're already getting 25 million RF per tick. I also looked at this, dude. kind of made me laugh. So I was looking at this and looking at how much we filled it. It's only at 0 .001. <laughs> this has been running a long time, and that's all we're at. Like, we're not even close to a percent. So kind of hilarious in that regards. But anyway, that is pretty much all we're going to do for quests in this pack. And then I'm going to kind of move on. So the next thing we're going to do here is go ahead and make the Infinity Armor. Then after that, I think we need to make the World Breaker. Then we're going to have to head to the end and uh, go and fight uh, a Chaos Dragon. So let's kind of do that. So let's go ahead and grab some Neutronium. We have a whole bunch of that now. We got like 4K. That's good. I actually turned off all of those, uh, whatchamacallits, the um, stopwatches because they were kind of too spammy but anyway let's go to matrix we should have yeah we got a ton of those in here we need some of these we need a couple of these so go ahead and grab them i don't know if we need some uh regular ones as well i might have not have wanted to do that let's grab like two stacks of normal ones just in case and yeah i went ahead too and uh actually i need to grab some of the infinities as well um the infinity agates so i went ahead and um switched over the octuple compressed um Sure, gain that reason and just put Infinity Catalyst instead. Much more efficient. I mean, it's almost double the MC per rate. So much better for a battery. I just let the pack run for like four hours for all that stuff. But anyway, let's go to Infinity here. Grab this stuff. 
This armor is utterly ridiculous, and uh, we're going to be able to make it really easy here. Probably go ahead and make the bow as well, because it's super easy to make. And uh, probably grab that. And I guess we'll have to make the world breaker as well, like I said. So we'll grab that as well. So let's go world breaker. Uh, maybe a space. This pick, it has a uh, fortune 10 on it. So pretty insane in that regards, but it mines so fast that it's insane anyway. It has a secondary function too, where I think it mines like an 8x8 or something like that. I'm not really going to worry about that right now. And uh, let's go to a longbow. Longbow. Yeah, right there. Longbow of the heavens. I guess we need a couple of wool here. Let's go ahead and grab some wool. This one's not even a quest. I'm just kind of grabbing it because we have the materials. I had so many infinity, I guess I didn't know what to do with them. Let's go to longbow. Grab that. Sweet. I guess technically, too, if you really wanted to, you could make a world out of Molten Infinity, too, because it's actually listed. It's actually kind of funny. Go over here, check that out, uh, and go to Infinity. Yeah, it's listed. So if you had um, 120 buckets, which would be a lot, <laughs> you would need uh, nine times that about in Infinity to actually get that many buckets to be able to make that dimension. But technically, I mean, you could do it, right? So anyway... Just thought I'd mention that real quick. Anyway, let's drop all this stuff off. Uh, I can't even wear this armor yet, funnily enough. Mostly because uh, I need to actually make an end cake just so we can make to the end. I used to have an end portal, right? I don't even remember if I showed that. But when my world got corrupted and it happened to get fixed, uh, I had to take that out of there because we're pretty sure that's what corrupted my world. So anyway, I don't have that. Uh, I'm going to need a bucket of milk, I think, too, because I think I only had like two in here. Yeah, we need uh, one more bucket of milk. Let's grab a bucket. Let's do that. Because we have to make our good old vanilla cake to be able to make our end cake. And uh, yeah, we're going to end this pack today, man. It's been a long go. It's been a fun go. I've really enjoyed this pack. It's been a pretty sweet pack all around. Really solid. Uh, for a first time kind of pack to have, uh, you did really good, man. I'm just going to say that. It's uh, pretty sweet. I mean, a lot of people are enjoying this one. So yeah, you did something definitely right, I have to say. This pack's been... Just an easy, fun time, I have to say. Really cool. Really like it. But anyway, let's grab an end cake. What am I missing there, man? Am I really missing you? Is that a thing? Let's do that. Grab a end cake. And uh, I need to get hungry somehow. <laughs> Don't know how I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll just run a little bit. See if uh, I get hungry. There we go. We've got a little bit of... A little tiny fraction of a haunch gone there. So we should, we should be able to kind of grab that end cake. Throw it down on the ground. And then just eat that puppy and kind of go to the other dimension. And uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, now we can actually put this stuff on. It's going to immediately fill up our saturation and uh, make us uh, pretty invincible. So I'll kind of show you how this stuff works. It's pretty crazy. If I hit him, see, he's angry at me, but he can't do anything. <laughs> they can't even target you. You can't even be targeted by mobs at all whatsoever. They just kind of push you around. They want to do stuff at you. They look down at you like you're, you're just a horrible human being in general. I actually like that. <laughs> and uh yeah but the, they can't do anything at all so that's pretty cool so to actually get to i guess the uh chaos dragon you're pretty much going to kind of the center there right so kind of the center of the island and then you had ten thousand blocks in any given direction from northeast west and south so it kind of goes on that line so we're just going to kind of i guess we're going to do the east one go this way and uh once we hit uh ten thousand blocks out uh we should be at a ender dragon so that is pretty cool am i falling i'm so confused right now <laughs> here we go i think i was falling for a second i'm so confused oh no i guess not we're good anyway we'll just keep going and uh we're only a thousand blo blocks out it is going to take a couple seconds to get here but once i get here i think this chaos dragon should only be one hit uh usually there's like it's a big epic battle you have like like a regular dragon so you have like the crystals going around they're a little different but there's a second ring of them too. If you don't destroy them fast enough, they actually start regenerating. So anyway, with this armor and the sword, it should be one or two shots tops. <laughs> I think it'll be one, but uh, uh, it may be two. I guess we'll see how it works out. But I'm pretty sure it's one. And I'm almost positive he can't target you at all whatsoever. And even if he can, I don't think he can like actually hurt you. But, uh, we got a little ways to go. So hopefully we'll get there in a couple seconds. Uh, we'll fight this puppy. Probably watch an island explode and uh, get a whole bunch of those chaos shards. Because after you kill them, there's a little room underneath we can get into. Can't get into it before, so we'll be there in a couple seconds. There we go. We're almost here. The island should be coming up any second. That looks like it right there. That's actually the island right there. It's kind of floating above the island that's lower. 
And uh, you should, yeah, it all just spawned in all at once. And uh, there you go. So these are the crystals here. You can see here, there's these kind of fancy crystals. Usually you would have to, you know, break all those, kind of do that to be a thing. He's running around, he's shooting balls of anger. <laughs> That's what we'll call them. Big giant balls of anger. You can't even hit, I don't think, the outer crystals until you kind of hit these ones first. I think that's the order. Uh, they have changed it, too. It didn't used to have these, like, red pillars and stuff. But anyway, we're just going to kind of just wreck this guy. Because <laughs> he can't literally do anything. He is really cool looking. I'll give him that. But, uh, I wish the regular dragon looked this good. They can't, uh, Mojang can't, can't graphic like this, though. Can, can you come down here? What are you doing, man? Come down here. There we go. There we go. He's dead. <laughs> so one slash, he's dead. He's finished. Uh, we need to kind of come down here now. See here, lightning starts hitting the ground and stuff. Being all dramatic. We don't even need to wait for it, though. We're just going to kind of just dig and probably do that again. You'll see here, we've got this kind of draconium-infused obsidian here. Just a big giant line of it. And this crystal here. So we're going to just kind of break that. There we go. Now, we just got 20 of those because uh, we used a fancy pick. And before long, this thing's really soon now that we broke that crystal, it's going to start exploding. So you can see everything's kind of just shaking now. It's going to do that for a couple seconds. The pillars are being destroyed. Uh, all kinds of fancy jazz. It looks awesome all around. But uh, very soon, there's going to be a giant explosion. And I guess we're going to stand right at it. We're in this armor. We can't even be hurt. Might as well just kind of look around, kind of enjoy it. I mean, it's like a, it's like a vacation day for us. Uh oh Oh, it stopped shaking. I forgot to stop shaking. I thought my pack, I wasn't moving. I thought my pack actually crashed there. But anyway, there goes the explosion. So we're standing in it. If you weren't wearing this armor, you'd be good and dead proper. But anyway, let's go up way high. Because otherwise we'll be looking at white light for a long time. <laughs> it actually lasts for like almost a minute, I think. Uh, yeah, we just uh, destroyed the dragon in a matter of seconds. Which is pretty awesome. I mean, this armor is just utterly silly. It is just the most powerful thing ever made ever. <laughs> you can see there, it's like these weird rings of light too. The way it does it. In the vignette with the circles and stuff. It's a little strange. But anyway, let's go back down. Kind of uh, kind of take a look here of what our handiwork did. It totally destroys the country countryside, right? So it makes it kind of this weird, kind of janky, kind of, I don't know, kind of like steppy, uppy, downy box. <laughs> but it looks really cool. It also adds this uh, outer ring there uh, after you've done it as well. I think there's a fair amount of draconium in this outer ring too. Let's kind of look around. I think so. Anyway, maybe it's going to make a liar of it to me. There's going to be like no draconium. Yeah, there's like sub there. So anyway, that is the chaos dragon. That's all that it takes. Um, yeah, we're pretty much done here, man. <laughs> so yeah, we got to head back to the base. We got to go ahead and do some crafting. I need to get rid of this obsidian because it uh, serves no real purpose anymore. I think we also got a quest that we've got one probably. Oh, we got two right here. I didn't craft, kind of claim these two. Might as well check these last ones. I'm still hoping for a Skullfire Sword that I don't even need now that we have the Infinity Sword. Just uh, <laughs> the completionist of me going, give me my sword, man. It's the only thing I wanted. It's like, you know, wanting a Christmas present for several years, like the same thing. Maybe it's a motorbike or something like that. When I was a kid, it was a motorbike. And then not getting it for three years, but every year hoping for it. Anyway, <laughs> definitely a thing. But uh, I'm going to head back to the base. We're going to go and do some crafting. And uh, we're going to get the tome there going. And then we're going to probably finish this up. And okay, I'm back at my base. And I went ahead and made an entire stack of Awakened Cores. So I just did that with a timer. And uh, I just kind of automated the whole process, actually. It's just a bunch of Awakened Draconium. And then some Wyvern Cores. You're good to go and Nether Stars. But anyway, if it has a recipe in there and you have a timer on it, every time it kind of clicks with a redstone pulse, it'll start the recipe automatically. And it's pulling out uh, with flat transfer nodes. So that's all I did. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do here is probably go ahead and... Uh, what was the next part of this? We need to make our... Um, what is it? The chaotic cores. Let's just go to core here. And, uh, actually check the recipe. It is four awakened draconium and four of these cores. So we're going to need three of these to kind of start. Let's go four. I'd be 12 each, right? So we do it like that. You know, drop that off. Probably do the same thing here. Grab another 12. That'll work. And that'll be a recipe. So let's kind of clear our bar. And uh, yeah, let's get this recipe here. I'm going to be coming back and doing a couple more of these injectors. Kind of in a cut here as well. Because we're going to do one more thing before we end the pack here. It's going to be just a little bit fun thing. So we're going to get it done. Let's go and do that. Go you there. 
And uh, what am I missing? Just uh, two of them, right? Oh, actually three. There we go. That'll handle that. And uh, I guess we just need to accelerate this puppy. <laughs> and uh, you can see there, it started by itself, right? And it'll just do that. Every five seconds right now, I think I have that set to tick. I just want to sit here and drink coffee is the only reason I even automated, to be honest. Because uh, I haven't had to do any bash crafting really other than this. But um, yeah, anyway, it's getting done. <laughs> the last one. I, I don't like how you have to wait for it to charge before you can actually speed it up. But anyway, that's the thing. Do that. We got a 3k out of course. And then we actually need to just turn these into ejectors, at least two of them. Uh, that's not it at all. That's like an upgrade that doesn't even exist. Uh, what is the injector? I need to go look at that. I think it's this. It's, uh, I believe, four diamonds per. So we need eight diamonds, right? Let's grab that. And I think it was two dragon eggs. So we'll just do it like that. I think that's the actual recipe. And then an injector, right? So we'd go like that, that, and that. And that should be the recipe there. So let's do that. Just get this set up. That's cool. And pop that over there. Then I think we just need to grab two injectors. So we'll just grab this one. This pick is so ridiculously fast too. It is just insane. I don't think I, I didn't show you guys this either yet, have I? So this bow, like it, it, it's not as powerful as a sword at all, but it is kind of nifty. So if you kind of shoot it at something, let's see there. It actually rains down arrows and you can just hold down the button. I'm just holding down the button now. And just keep shooting. So it just, yeah, it just rains down fiery hell. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty cool. I like it. Anyway, let's do that. And uh, I guess the last thing here would be these two injectors. Let's get them going. And then maybe the acceleration one. Yeah, get these two done. Then we'll go ahead and make our tome. Then, like I said, I could do a cut from one more thing here. That'll be pretty cool. I think what I'm going to do is actually a draconic reactor. And I'm going to blow it up and blow the other utter bejesus out of our base. That is kind of the plan here. So that I think that's going to be the way we kind of finish this off. So let's go ahead and uh, grab a can of core. Go ahead and grab an Ingest Pearl, Transmutation Tablet. Down, just set up the recipe here. So it's just that and that. I believe that right there. And that should end it, man. That should be everything. Yeah, just need to kind of get that done. And uh, yeah, it's just down here the crate. And this is the final item, realistically. So this thing, you'll notice you can't actually use it, right? So the way it's actually used, you open up your uh, Transmutation Tablet and just learn it. Once you learn this, it unlocks tons of stuff here. You just can't even realize it. I'll just pick a letter. Let's go uh, C. So the letter C. <laughs> and I started scrolling through. You will see there's stuff like Mercurial I. I obviously never put that in there. Um, this stuff. Like, just keep seeing stuff that you've never put in your table. But anything that has EMC that's in the pack is now a craftable recipe with EMC. So it just gives you access to everything. <laughs> it just keeps going, man. Pretty crazy. And yeah, you can just cycle through and kind of look at everything. But, uh, there's a lot in there, trust me. There's a ton of stuff. And it'll just keep going. <laughs> Pretty much, any, like I said, anything that has the EMC in the pack, is just in there, ready to be done now. So that's done now, and that's pretty cool. But like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make, I think I have to make seven of these injectors to go ahead and make this here. This is the Draconic Reactor Core. And yeah, you need seven of these at chaotic level to be able to craft this with a chaos shard, a little bit of resources. Then I'm gonna have to make a stabilizer, I think that's what it's called. Uh, let's see here, Steve stabilizer, these ones here. I need to make four of these puppies as well. So I mean, it's all easy crafting recipes at this point. It is gonna need another chaotic core. And uh, we need four of these as well. So it's gonna take four more chaos shards, which isn't that big a deal. But I'm gonna get that done. And on top of that, I think the last thing we need to kind of get this going is an injector. And this recipe is not too bad either. So I'm going to get that done. We'll kind of get back here. And then we're going to blow up this room, I think. Well, the entire base, actually. And I have to do a backup before that, too, actually. Because uh, I do want to set this world as a world download for everyone. And uh, I'll have to remember the coordinates, too. I should write that down. Like the coordinates right around, maybe right in front of my system. Because uh, the way the pack kind of handles the way you load in the world, it kind of tries to put you into... Your own little island because it has like that island thing for servers and then you don't actually spawn on my base so you actually have to teleport here but uh yeah i'll have to remember to do that so anyway i'm gonna get this crafting done i'll be back and uh we'll have a little fun here and okay i went ahead and grabbed everything i think we need here so we got the uh draconic reactor core we got the energy injectors i guess one of them and uh the reactor stabilizers i think that's all we need except for i think we need a point as well we need to pump power in this thing i think is the way it works 
I'm a little limited in my knowledge of this thing, so I'm just going to kind of, you know, I'm not trying to make it work right. <laughs> I really just tried to blow up my base, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm really going to say to see how it goes, too, because, like, when it blows up this hallway, for instance, there's going to be literally two, maybe two to three hundred thousand stacks of items drop. So we'll kind of see how the the world kind of handles that. There'll be tons down there as well. There won't be as much down this hall, but there's a lot of items and a lot of entities and uh, I may crash and I may crash and depending on how it crashes, it may kind of still let us see what happens <laughs> and maybe it won't. Maybe it'll kind of roll back because I've had that happen before. Oh, that is not meant to happen at all. I'll have to fix that. How did I break that? This pick, man. Let's go ahead and try that again. Let's do that. I don't want to turn that off yet. I did kind of deactivate all our multi-blocks too because I know that's an issue. Uh, a lot of times when you're doing stuff like this where stuff kind of gets all broken, multi-blocks will kind of totally crash out of world. <laughs> so you don't really want to have that happen. But anyway, we'll kind of put a little platform here. It's kind of this little cobblestone. I just need to get this thing kind of floating in the air. This thing does look really cool too, so that is kind of an add bonus. Let's go ahead and grab a injector. Let's see if we can get that in place. I think it has to go like that. There we go. And then we can kind of get rid of that cobblestone. That's cool. Then I think we have to go out five blocks. Let's go, maybe, can I, can I place? One, two, three, four, five. And I think we can put down the reactor core. So let's kind of throw that puppy down. There we go. And now this thing is probably one of the most beautiful things in Minecraft. You'll kind of see it here in a second. If you've never seen it before, it just looks utterly amazing. One, two, three, four, five. And we need to put a stabilizer out four sides here. But they have to go out uh, the sixth block out, I believe. I think. I think that's how it works. We'll see anyway. If not, we'll troubleshoot it. I mean, we're just trying to blow up our base here. I think these place the way you put them down. Yeah, they do. So that's good. Put one there. Put one there. And uh, put one there. I think that's literally all we need here. Let's kind of get that all gone. And then we're going to need that flux point, because I believe we need to kind of pump power to this thing at the first event. And yeah, you can see their status offline. Let's go ahead and uh, be, I guess that's the right channel right there. I think we have to put codium in this, I think is the way it works. I don't know how much. How do you do that? I just, I guess it just took that much. <laughs> can I put more in there? I really don't know how much this thing can take. Let's go ahead and uh, grab some more codium. See if we can put more weakened in there. Because I, I just want to blow up fast, and uh, I'm not really... Whoa, it's already growing. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Can I make a bigger band? I want to make it bigger. Can I do that? No, it looks like it might uh, max out at eight blocks. It looks that way. Huh. A little weird. I know you get chaos shards out of it, but uh, I'm not really worried about that. We are going to start charging it now. I think we can do that. So we just kind of click charge here. And that's good. And then it warms up for a bit. And I think there's an activation button that's going to kind of come there. But it adds this little kind of containment shield strength. And it's kind of a combination of the core temperature and energy saturation. That kind of decides what explodes, right? But uh, it is looking amazing. Like, look at that thing, man. Like, it just looks utterly, utterly amazing. I think it'll get bigger than that, too. It'll actually keep growing. So <laughs> that's pretty cool, too. That may be dependent on the energy saturation. I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll kind of watch it as it goes here. And I don't even know what these numbers mean. Like, I really don't. It says here, yeah. Shows the total volume of matter within the reactor in cubic meters. <laughs> I have no idea. That's the draconium plus gas, so the value will only change when you add or remove fuel. Anyway, pretty cool, pretty awesome, and uh, hopefully pretty deadly. I'm really hoping we can make it through the explosion. So, yeah, I did break, like I said, my multi block. So, the turbine, I just kind of took one block out of each one of them. I'm probably going to end up turning off this right before it kind of explodes as well. Although at some point, I think we need to kind of break stuff too. Because uh, we don't want to um, keep it stable all. So these stabilizers are actually kind of, kind of shooting the shield at it. I think is the way it works. So that's actually the shield kind of holding in place, trying to keep it safe. But as, as it gets um, more energy saturated, I think. I don't know how the fuel co <laughs> conversion works. But as the, uh, yeah, the uh, energy saturation goes up. I think it takes more and more shield to kind of maintain that. And then, yeah, your shield can blow up on you. But uh, we're going to kind of help that. I'm just waiting for it to kind of say activate. <laughs> Give me the my activate button. And okay, it finally came up with the activation button. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Kind of let it do its thing. I'm not going to let the energy saturation kind of climb here. Quite a bit, I think. Until it's pretty much full. Then I think at that point, we can kind of make it really unstable by breaking these shields. Which is kind of what we're going for. I think it starts producing power right now too. Yeah, so right now, 
It's at uh, 240,000, but it's kind of going down as well. But we're pumping in 160,000 RF tick, so I didn't really limit this thing. I think that kind of throws it out of balance too, right? <laughs> hey, they got to speed it up. There we go. Yeah, input rate, 2 billion a tick, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. So yeah, this thing can get uh, power into it really quickly. Now I'll put the shield at max. And uh, I guess we're waiting. I think we're waiting for the kind of the core temperature to kind of build up here. I'm actually curious. Will this make it more unstable like right away? If I just kind of break this thing? Well, let's actually just turn it off. I'll just put it on main in. Start pulling power out of it maybe. <laughs> oh, we got some more kind of red coming out of it now. I don't think that's the way it's supposed to work. But anyway, I really want the temperature to go up. So the saturation is still going up there. I think that just means you're not pulling out the power. I think you have to actively kind of pull the power out of this and at a set rate and stuff. It, it's very complicated. It's very kind of confusing. Oh, but the shield's going down. I don't know if we want that to go down yet. Maybe we do. Let's do this. Let's make it really unstable. Let's uh, do that there. <laughs> you can see there immediately turned red. Everything's starting to flicker. Explosion is minute, uh, imminent. So yeah, that's gonna start going really bad there. Oh no. I'm already lagging. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Let's blow up another one. <laughs> Let's see here. Still hasn't reached the point where it wants to explode yet. But, uh, we can kind of help that out. Let's go. This thing too is really odd. If you bounce into it, you're like literally, it's like a ball. <laughs> you can like totally bounce off this thing. There we go. 204 seconds. We can speed that up. There we go. Might as well just kind of hurry up to our impending doom. Which is pretty cool. I don't think we can actually speed this up anymore. Uh, I don't think we even need that anymore, to be honest. Uh, let's break you, maybe. Do that. There we go. Last shield protectors. Trying, trying to kind of keep it safe. But I break this one. I can't actually see the detonation time. But uh, this thing's crazy. Like, it's just getting more and more red. I think it turns more and more white at this point. And then we're going to get a giant explosion at some point, And everything's just going to go utterly insane. I really hope that it doesn't crash to the point where I can't see what my base looks like uh, after it explodes because I'm really interested on how big of a crater it makes in a stone block, right? So uh, in a stone block, it should be just utterly ridiculous. Explosion and event. I wish we had a button here just like explode. <laughs> It'd be funny if we could turn this thing into a weapon, launch it at someone's base. Just uh, some kind of, what is that? Uh, what is it they call those? Are they mass drivers? No, the mass something. Um, you know, the concept where you kind of throw meteors at a planet, use them as a weapon. Anyway, <laughs> it'd be pretty awesome if you could. So the core temp's getting really high now. Saturation really isn't doing anything because it's not really producing power anymore. And the shield, well, we got the last containment field here, but it's not powered, so it really shouldn't be doing anything anyway, to be honest. But I guess it is doing a little something. And uh, yeah, the color of this thing's getting a little more creepy by the second. <laughs> getting very autonomous. Uh, yeah, we've got another 100 seconds here. This is pretty awesome. I'm really pumped to see how big this uh, goes here. I've never really stood in the middle of an explosion before. I've always had to run away. But uh, in this armor, I think we can just stand here. <laughs> Gotta have it do its thing. I may even turn this off now. Like I said, let's deactivate that. Hopefully. Can I? Oh, man. I'm getting serious lag now. There we go. Yeah, not liking this. It's getting really white now. That's pretty cool. It looks amazing. This thing, like that kind of particle effect there. I mean, the only thing that really compares that is some astral sorcery stuff. It's just uh, very well done, I have to say. And uh, we got another 80 seconds here, man. And the base is going to be rip. It's going to be rip world, but I did do a backup, so I am going to be able to do a uh, world download for everyone, which is pretty awesome. And uh, you guys can kind of poke around my world here. I will add the uh, teleportation uh, coordinates. So I've already written those down. Everything hopefully will work fine, because I did have a little bit of issues with the last version. As soon as the pack updated once, everything just got up got complicated for no reason but anyway we'll kind of see how that works must have been uh update have uh something to do with maybe the world way you spawn into the world it has that like sky block uh is it sky islands or something like that mod what makes it so you can kind of set it up for multiple players easier and okay now it's going from white i guess it's gone from red to uh whitish yellow now it's almost looking like a sun it actually looks amazing like, look at that looks so cool man <laughs> this is so awesome this looks like something that should be out in space, should be in the middle of my base here. Kind of makes the Chaconic uh, energy core look kind of pitiful. Oh, it's got a little tinge of purple now too, look at this man. We're going through all the colors, all the spectrums. Okay, brace yourselves, this is about to go down, it's about to happen, it's going to be uh, utterly redonk donk. I really hope we can kind of survive the entire explosion, but uh, I'm not very hopeful at the same time, I guess we'll kind of see here. Come on, do your thing. Is it time yet? 
I know you're going to do it. Oh, bye. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to turn the volume down so much. And uh, we may be crashing. Yeah. We'll kind of give it a couple seconds here. If it doesn't pull out, I'm going to let it just sit here and lag. Hopefully it saves the world. And then maybe I can load it up somehow. But uh, I guess we'll see here. And okay, I went ahead and I managed to get the pack loaded. You can see here, we're in a giant crater now. <laughs> Our base does not exist anymore. It is just a, it, it is just a shattered shell of what it once was. We can actually see the sky all the way up, which is pretty crazy. These two chunks here didn't delete for some reason. I have no idea why. But I just want to give you the scope of this thing. Just give you a scope. It took 15 minutes for the pack to crash. <laughs> then it took another 10 minutes just to get it to load. So yeah, it took me about half an hour to get this up and running. But the scope of this thing is massive. It looks like it's about a 512 by 512 uh, kind of area. Are those blizzards? Oh no, those are mega torches floating there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, like this uh, surface up here, when I mined out all this lava with a uh, builder, I did a 512 by 512. So it is giant. The area that this thing kind of encompasses when it explodes is just utterly ridiculous. Then it throws that lava all over the place. Got liquid everywhere. The oddest stuff survived too. Like... I don't know. This was here. So these two chunks here were the two that corrupted. And they're actually the chunks that survived, oddly enough. I think that's what happened. So when my pack corrupted, it was that chunk and that chunk. And save here and here. So whenever I would change a block here, it would end up uh, just instantly returning when I restarted the pack. So looks like they're still messed up, man. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't really matter anymore, I suppose. But uh, this is crazy. I mean, it's pretty cool. The oddest things survive, too. So like our alchemical chest, they're fine. Uh, we have all of our mystical agriculture stuff, I believe, as well. <laughs> it's all there. Uh, I don't know why. Something messed up, I guess, when it was blowing up. Uh, through uh, Infinity Catalyst in my, my chickens. That's odd. I mean, those I got. Oh, man, I got uh, 84 Infinity Catalysts That's right there just for fun. But, yeah, we have all of our mystical agriculture stuff, which is quite hilarious. And uh, just lava everywhere, man. Down here never got touched, actually. So, down here. I never did end up doing anything with this room, though. So, I mean, this was where the Ender Portal was, uh, portal was before my world got corrupted. Down that way is my old base. But pretty awesome. I mean, the scope of this thing is utterly insane. I think it's fantastic. I was glad I got to go ahead and do this. Because I wasn't sure if the pack was actually going to load. So, and it's so weird, too. It still thinks the, uh, the things there. It's shooting the particles towards the... Uh, uh, the the draconic core <laughs> the energy storage so that's pretty odd in itself so i would uh you know want to play in this world i think it's probably pretty much pooched but it's pretty cool to look at nonetheless and the scope of it is utterly giant so yeah i think that's gonna be pretty much the end of the pack though i do want to say i want to you know uh, welcome all the new subs oops we got a sec let me see if I can land there. I want to welcome all the new subs that I kind of picked up during this series uh, to the channel. I mean, we had a big giant boost of uh, growth in this uh, this kind of pack here. This pack has been fun. It's been fantastic. And it's been a great little pack. And uh, yeah, I can't do it without you guys. So I just want to thank every each and every one of you kind of for the support that I got during this playthrough. This one, this one's been a good one, man. It's been a good time. But uh, yeah, I am going to wrap up this series. So I am going to be doing a world download for this pack. So I'm going to be throwing that up there. And uh, that is definitely a thing. I was going to mention that I do have a Discord. If you want to stop a buy, say hello, any of that jazz, everyone is welcome, man. we got a good little community there, really chill. Everyone is laid back. And, uh, it's pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, stop a buy, say hello, and, uh, you know, do stuff. I always forget this thing has wings. It looks so awesome. But anyway, I am going to end this series here. So, as always, guys, like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.